People just can't believe that I am the same person with and without makeup. A lot of people do say in the comments that my transformation should be illegal. Hi, I'm Jordan Lynn. I'm 22 years old. I am a transgender woman, male to female. And I am a social media influencer. And I am a proud cat bitch. So I did always know that I was different from being very young. I've always been so feminine, playing with Barbies, until I got my phone and then I started seeing other transgender people on social media. I'd say my interest in makeup started from a quite young age as well. So I always used to watch makeup hauls, makeup tutorials. So I would say makeup and hair is very important to me because as a transgender woman, I do like to feel the most feminine that I can. It's changed my mood a lot because I've gained so much confidence from putting makeup on. I would consider my makeup sessions as a transformation because obviously it's not only a physical transformation, it is a mental transformation too. You start walking different, feeling more confident. So for normal day-to-day -day makeup, it would probably only take me half an hour to an hour just like a soft glam look, but on social media, I am known as putting loads of makeup on, covering all my redness, going from short hair to long hair in a matter of seconds. I started posting my transformations videos when I did start coming out as transgender, but it did start blowing up when I started really transforming from looking kind of masculine to like ultra feminine. The reason for starting these transformations was just for fun at the start but it did become very fastly my full-time job. I went from zero to 600,000 followers like this, so fast. Some of my most viral videos do have over 36 million views, but one of my favorites is one that I gained over 200,000 followers from, and on that one I get over 25 million views on and nearly five million likes. In this video, I'm showing like unflattering angles, me not looking my best, no makeup, hair scrunched up, and then obviously transforming into like a glam look, and it just, blows people's minds. So I decided to share how I shave my face because it is just a normal thing. Everyone grows hair, not only trans people, but people with polycystic ovary syndrome too. So I think it does give a lot of confidence to people like that too because it's showing that people do grow hair on the face and it's fine, women and men. The positive reactions I get are amazing because I get so many messages on social media saying how much I've helped them, from people who do want to be trans, saying I give them confidence to come out. So some of the hate comments that I do get is, this is why you should take your girl swimming on the first date. But obviously with me, swimming's not going to do anything. You're going to need to jet wash. I've been called a catfish because of the transformations. It is very drastic, but I do do it for a reaction. I don't mind actually being called a catfish because it is just a compliment to my makeup skills and my hair skills. So what I would say to my haters is thank you for watching, thank you for commenting and thank you for sharing my videos because all you're doing is boosting my video. From posting on social media I am hoping to spread a positive message and show that it's okay if you grow hair on your face, man or woman, it's okay if you don't look the exact same with and without makeup.